Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, most likely continue our journey, uh, our exploration and movements towards the center of the galaxy. It's been about a week or so since I've actually played in real life because I got ahead of you guys, and so I kind of took a, a short break from recording and I worked on some of my other series. Um, so, yeah, it's been about a week since I've actually been in the game. And uh, so I'm a little bit rusty, but we'll pick it back up and continue on here. So I think what we want to do is, you know, we got in the last episode, we got to this um, system. If you look in the upper left hand corner of the galaxy map, you can see that we are uh, as close as we've ever been to the center. We're kind of uh, in the north by northeast uh, area above the center of the galaxy there. And so what I want to do is I want to... Well, you know what we could do, actually, now that I think about this? Um, why don't we find a... Uh, why don't we find, like, a, a a little bit better system, like a high economy system, and continue moving towards the center? And when we find one we like, then we're, then we're going to set up a, a at least a, a very basic base so we can directly come back here. Um, so I think that's what I want to do. Uh, okay, so let's go. Uh, where is the center? Uh, oh, it's right there. We're looking at. We're looking right at it. We're looking right at it. And it's the the big. Well, it, I don't. I guess black hole or something in the middle of the gal in the center of the galaxy. I know the Milky Way galaxy has um, what they call a, a supermassive black hole. Um, I guess the thing that's a little weird about that is why is it generating light though, and it's pulsating too. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's probably a reason for that, but I am not an astronomerologist, so I'm not sure exactly how all that stuff works. Other than I'm, I'm very fascinated by astronomy and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so what? Let's um. There's a pirate system there. Um, and it's a Viking. I'd rather not be in a Viking pirate system because we have good rep with them. I'd rather be in a Gek pirate system so that way we can attack them with impunity. Um, but we also want, I also want to be in a system with a three star economy so we can sell stuff there. Didn't one just pop up? Let's get a little closer this way. some point we're going to get out of range here. We, uh, Reese, I know that recently we added all of the, the drive special warp drives to the freighter. So now we can go to any star system, red, green, blue, etc. At some point it's going to tell me we're out of range though, as we keep moving forward and looking around here. There's okay. There's a a Gek pirate system. Um. Why don't we let let's let's just warp here, and then the you know the ideal setup and I and I have this back in our kind of starting area is to have a three star system right next to a Gek pirate system. Um, because the thing is, is you can't, you can't teleport out of a pirate system into a normal system and vice versa. So you always have to jump, but so, you know, having those be together like that saves distance and jump fuel and all of that. All right, let's do this. Let's go up to here and we'll, we'll do a scan of this system. Lots of planets. Okay, so this is a torrid planet, a lifeless planet, a caustic nightmare, a mechanical planet. That's that's probably got those mechanical animals on it. A marshy planet, Mizia Ten. That's probably going to be toxic, and this is an ice-bound planet. That has facium on it too, for you know, for farming. Gold. Uh, all right. I'm just curious about the mechanical planet, and I also am curious about the marshy planet. 
to see if, it, if it's got a, a harsh environment. So let's just go visit those two, <clears throat> excuse me, really quick. And of course, we'll stop off at the space station and do our thing there. And then um, we'll keep looking after that. Where am I going? I'm going this way. Yeah, so let's just stop in and check out those two planets real quick. Let's get our suit upgrade first. We are continuing to focus on our technology slots. We are now up to 207,500 units for that. And let's check the multi-tool. I like the look of that. It's a, it's a Class C. All right, now nah, I'm not going to bother. It's so darned expensive to upgrade to higher classes that we're pretty much going to hold out until we actually find a an S-Class. Oh, look at that solar ship. That is a B-Class. Just for the halibut. Let's just look at um, this guy's stats. Oh, he's not even giving us the option to hire him. Okay, never mind then. I believe that's all we need to do here. Now what we're going to do is go check those two planets. So this is the marshy planet. It's got a lot of lot of ocean on it. So let's just go touch down and take a quick look see at it. Yeah, it's not it's not very pretty down here. Well, at least I don't think it is. Uh, we could blow up those supply thingies. Sultry disaster is the weather. Oh, but yeah, okay, look, so it's not it's not triggering my um my hazard protection. Alright. Nitrogen salt, that would probably be worth getting. Aronium, nitrogen, silver. And what was that? Sulfur. Loot we'll this stuff since we're here. Always happy to have more nav data. Don't care about this. A gek relic. Okay. All right. Let's go over here. Actually, since we're here, we might as well add some more bank to our bank if I can get the thing to register there we go 267,000 167,000 uh, I just saw a red dot flying that oh here we go 267. We'll look down over the side of the hill here. Alright, not seeing any more red dots. That's good enough. Let's loot these. Microprocessor, very nice. Another microprocessor. We'll take it. And let's get a, another nav data thingy. Okay, I think we're finished with this planet for now. Um, so, I would like to get the sulfurin and the nitrogen salt. And yeah, we'll get this too, why not? Don't care about the nitrogen or the silver, though. Time to go. The other planet we wanted to check out was this mechanical planet. Hidnea Q15, I guess, is what it is. 
So that might be this guy here. Start moving towards it. Wow, check this out. Mechanical planet. Such a trip. land right here. The weather is anomalous. Uh, let's call our freighter over here. Okay. Anything here considered an animal? That is considered an animal. Oh no, we didn't get the animal. We got the thing behind it. Or no, I'm sorry, the thing in front of it, rather. That's the animal. What in the world? We got 502,000 credits for it. This is an adult male, highly intelligent. Their diet is stinging leaves. They have gelatinous bones and they produce hexaberry. That is cool, man. I love it. That's what makes this game so awesome. It's just sometimes you run into the most bizarre stuff. But the thing about it, you got to understand, too, is that we, we as in humans, we don't understand everything there is to know about the world and about the universe. And this is like, you know, to think of something like this or even the zap, you know, zappity zap ball as being a living creature. It's just, uh, it's kind of beyond our comprehension. But you have to, at the same time, you can't sit there and go, no, that would be impossible. You know, some people say uh, traveling at the speed of light is is in physically impossible, but that's only based upon what we currently know about physics, right? There could be more, a lot more. There probably is a lot more about physics that we don't know that could change that. So anyway, all that to say, that's just partly why I really like this game because, you know, it's it, it's just a big what if. What if something like this actually existed? You know, that kind of thing. All right, cool. Um, what, what is on here? We got gold. Oh, wow, look at that. Gold, actual gold deposits. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, you can usually get plenty of gold in space, but it's neat that they have actual gold deposits. Is that the only critter here? Yep. We might as well get ourselves 250 nanite bonus. Fan friggin' tastic. Okay, let's head on back up to the freighter and uh, plot our next move. Looks like we probably have to do some fleet work here. All right, you guys know the drill. I'm just going to move through this quickly. Um, you know, it goes without saying, if some of you really are interested, in reading these logs verbatim. I was at first, but I kind of got to the point where, okay, this is just taking way too long. <laughs> uh, but if, you, if you're if you interested, you know, just pause the screen, okay? But I'm going to move through it pretty quickly. Let's see, let's see what we get here. Nice, we got some more legendary bullion. That's worth a decent amount of money. Oh, and we got some precious treasures and alien skulls. And then some of the usual run-of-the-mill stuff there. Uh, let's take a look here. That's worth 600000 That's worth 751 Okay, we'll move these into our exosuit and just sell them straight up. This is worth 210 All right, nifty. To the next one. 
This looks like the, these are a, a, uh, this was a combat mission. Uh, no, it was an industrial, rather. Eccentric Shipwright's Shears. Okay. Got some fairly high-level um, items there. Including my favorite, hot ice. And a total of uh, 1.5 million in credits. Alright, that doesn't suck. Uh, how much is this thing worth? 1.7 mil, nice! Tell you what, you guys, these, uh... These expeditions, and what you know, we're still leveling too. I, I, I'm excited to see what's going to happen once we get all of our freight, our, our frigates rather, leveled up to S class. Um, but it's already like paying off. I mean, I don't know if we've completely recouped our money, but I'm going to have to drop a few things off here. So let's do that real quick. Okay, we're storing um, gas in here for the time being in the miscellaneous. But at some point in the future, we'll probably need to um, have a dedicated storage for that. Oh, the other thing I, I should be able to do now that we've changed our stack sizes is uh, I should be able to take everything that's in, in the overflow bin and put it back in the normal bins. I just haven't gotten to that yet. Anything that's a sellable item, we should probably wait till we get to a a three-star system. Let's just take a quick look at. Yeah, that's negative. Uh, that's in the positive there. So yeah, let's sell that. That's in the positive. These I don't care about. They're just not worth enough money one way or the other. That's barely in the positive, but since it's a fairly high-ticket item, I think we'll weight on that. Yeah, same thing there. This is in the negative, so we'll wait. That's in the negative. We definitely want to wait on that. Okay. And again, that's the reason why I want to be in a... I actually have a base in a three-star system. Um, yeah, okay. So stuff we're going to hang on to until we get to the three-star system, we are going to put over here. Is that that doesn't fit in here? It sure does not. Okay. Is it? Oh, I guess the stack sizes don't apply to these things. Huh. Okay. So we are gonna have to put this in the overflow. Not a problem. We can do that. These um, I'm gonna pop open later. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with that right now. All right. I'm trying to remember why I have this pulse engine module. Thirteen maneuverability, seventeen boost, twenty fuel efficiency. So it's it's already better than this one. Not necessarily better than that one. 20 boost, 20... 17 boost. Okay, probably... Probably this one. Alright, let's continue on uh, with our expedition debriefs here. Those were all traders, so they brought us in 1.4 million and a couple other things. That actually wasn't super impressive, but this is a mix of ships. Let's see what this one is. This is a balanced mission. 
Ooh, nice. Salvage frigate module. We'll take it. And a storage augmentation. Another one. This was a good one, man. Starry material. Yeah, we got a salvage frigate module, two storage augment augmentations, starry material, whatever that's worth. We'll check in a second, and then let's see how much hard cash. 2.5 mil. That was a really good one. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, one more here. This is a combat mission. That was pretty good, too. For a combat mission, they brought in some pretty pretty nice money. Two point eight million. Beautiful. Okay. Let me uh, check the market on anything that's significantly in the plus. We'll just sell it right now. Okay. Uh, this thing here, freighter, that's worth 516. I guess we can't sell that here, though. So, yeah, let me get this stuff situated and then we'll get the new expeditions going. Okay, let's get these guys sent back out and make more money for us. Find this cool stuff. All right, these are all onesie twosie stars. Um, so let's do the trade expedition first. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me check my frigates to make sure nobody needs to be repaired. Ah, oh, look at that. They're all in good condition. Look at how, how many of them have um, graduated to be. Very good. It's only going to get better from here. Okay, so let's start with the trade expedition. And we just want to start with our top trade ships. Go for it. Um, I know I need to start maybe doing some of the modules on these guys too, but... Right now, I'm more interested in just getting them leveled up. Okay, we got a discovery, so we want our exploration vessels on that. And then we have an industrial. So we want all of our industrial ships. Oh, it's expedition. All right, and then we have two balanced, so we will just choose, let's see, let's do a, a combat, maybe two combats, an exploration, a mining, and a merchant. That gives us a fleet rating of five, and then the final one is another shorter balanced. So again, maybe two combats, a trade, an industrial, and uh, let's send this other combat out. There we go. That's that's it. They're all out on missions now. Fan friggin' tastic. Okay, let's see here. What is uh, the next thing? The next thing is we want to look for um, continue moving towards the center of the galaxy and looking for a three-star system um and if we could find one close to this pirate system that would be good 
Whoa. Okay, that's Viking. There we go. There's a three-star Viking system right there. Let's head there. I'm not too terribly worried about the pirate system because they're pretty easy to find. It's not really our priority right now anyway. Divixi Rika system. First contact. Four planets and one moon. Let's do a scan. A barren planet, a toxic planet, a temperate planet. Okay, we're going to have to check that one out. A swamp planet and a hyperborean planet, which is cold. What is the weather like here? Choking humidity. Active sentinels. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's just check it out. Um, which one is it? It's Eta. Okay. Upload those nanites. Let's go take a quick look at Eta and just see if we like the look of it. And of course, we'll do our usual thing at the space station. A class fighter. Just out of curiosity. Nope, he sucks. When it comes to your squadron, I don't know if it's more important to get a, uh, a higher level pilot or a higher, le higher level ship. Obviously, you want both, but I mean, is one more important than the other? I don't know. Okay, let's head. Well, actually, no, let's go to the station first and then we'll head down to the planet. Class Weapon Kiss of Infinity. Um, 19 slots, 31 slots. I kind of like the look of it, but it's still nowhere near as good as ours. If we come across an S-Class, though, I'm going to at least grab it and exchange one of the other lesser multi-tools that we have in our pocket. But I just don't really see the benefit of, of getting another A-Class and then having to go to all the effort to level it back up to get it to where this one is. So we will pass on that. Uh, I think, are we still looking for S-Class Pulse Spitter Modules? I don't remember. There's an S-Class Scanner, but otherwise... Alright, let's check uh, the ship guy. He's got a hyperdrive module. What do we currently have for hyperdrive modules? 221 light years, 227, and 245. Nah, I think we'll stick with what we got. Get ourselves another tech slot here. What is it now? 207? Okay. All right. That takes care of our business here at the station for the moment. Let's go check that planet out. Does this planet have any oceans on it? Certainly doesn't on this side. If we look at it from here... Yeah, there's definitely no water showing on that picture. What do we got here? An, an observatory or an abandoned facility? 
Okay. It is very purple here. But it's got, like, shrooms for trees. Okay. Uh, might as well scan a couple critters here. But I'm I'm thinking this planet doesn't have any oceans, and uh, wherever we end up, you know, living for our permanent base, I want that planet to have an ocean. It's a red dot over this way. Half a mil, man. I love it. Interesting place. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, what in the world? He's got like two ginormous fly eyeballs. That is so cool looking. <laughs> so bizarre looking. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop down um, a base here. Uh, a base computer, I should say. And um, that way we can quickly come back to this location. Because it is the closest system, you know, to the center of the galaxy that we have been to yet. Uh, but I'm not interested in actually building a base here. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and... Go to the build menu, grab base computer, set it down. Check app outpost. Searching cartographic archives. Nobody else is nearby. Claim the base. Fly up into the air. If purple was your favorite color, it's actually kind of purplish pinkish. And you might like this planet. It's not my favorite color. I have no, I have nothing against it. It's just not my favorite color. Blue is my favorite color. Um, all right. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna let's. Mm, We're gonna name this closest to center one. And probably what my my MO will be with this is it, it, if and when we set another base computer down, we'll call that one closest to center two. The third one would be closest to center three, et cetera, et cetera. And again, these are just waypoints. They're not they're not going to be actual bases, of course. But a way for us to get back here quickly. All right, you guys. I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. In the next episode, we will do something. I don't know what it's going to be, but we'll do it. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.